What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a big update on the Thiago to Liverpool transfer news story. Fabrizio Romano, who is one of the most respected and well-known journalists in the football world and he actually has very very good inside knowledge on many transfer deals during the summer so if you haven't already make sure to follow him because I think that he uh, shares really up-to-date information about many many big deals during the summer and he actually said, shared some news on Tiago to Liverpool so in this video we will tell you that and also we will have many updates around Liverpool Football Club and I'm really passionate about telling you these news so if you enjoy these videos a like is always appreciated subscribe if you haven't already half of you guys who watch these videos haven't been subscribed to my channel so make sure that you do and that really helps me out and helps this channel grow so the world-class Bayern Munich and Spain midfielder is desperate to join Liverpool according to Fabrizio Romano this is what he said and I quote the player Thiago would love to join Liverpool this summer he would love to play for Jurgen Klopp he had enough success at Bayern Munich winning seven Bundesliga titles in a row and he wants to try something new something exciting for his career and that has been confirmed by Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, the Bayern CEO as well, saying that at some stage in a player's career, this time comes when you want to try a new challenge and before Thiago retires, he wants to fulfill his dream of playing for uh, playing in the Premier League and also Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool are one of the most attractive clubs right now in the Premier League and uh, Fabrizio Romano continued, Thiago hopes that his transfer to Liverpool can be a possibility and he really wants to buy in Munich to get the deal done. The problem is that there is a difference in valuation between what Bayern Munich want for Thiago which is around 35 million pounds and what Liverpool are willing to give to Bayern which is around 20-25 million so I think if Liverpool can negotiate that price down a little bit then it could be a fantastic deal because don't get me wrong Thiago is yes he's 29 years old he doesn't really fit into the regular Liverpool transfer model under the over Owners, FSG but Thiago is an absolute world-class midfielder why are the German experts saying that if Thiago joins Liverpool Liverpool are going to win every game next season ask yourself why are they saying that because Thiago is absolutely amazing of course it's a little bit of exaggeration you don't have to mean it literally take it literally but what that means is that with Thiago Liverpool would be just so strong so overpowered that like most of the teams in England wouldn't have a chance against Liverpool and even this season that has been a case but you have to strengthen when you are on top if you don't sign anybody when you are the first team and the others are spending big money I mean Man United, Man City, Chelsea Arsenal, Tottenham will all sign players then they will rise and Liverpool might stay on the top or, or fall down just a little bit and one or two clubs might overtake Liverpool even though I firmly believe that Liverpool are the favourites for the Premier League title but the fact is Man City have a deeper and bigger squad not necessarily a better starting eleven because Liverpool proved this season that Liverpool's starting eleven is the best in the Premier League but the squad is not and if we signed Thiago and Jamal Lewis and other players I think Liverpool could really dominate English football for the next three or four years and Vinadum, Thiago, Henderson will not be around in four years maybe even Salah, Mane and Firmino will not be at Liverpool in four years time because they will be like 31-32 uh, by that time so Liverpool really have to take this opportunity and maximize it in the next three or four years Liverpool can become a dynasty by winning multiple trophies every single season in those three or four seasons and if Liverpool don't strengthen now and I understand that we have some financial difficulties but if Liverpool don't take this opportunity and strengthen when they can when they are in such an attractive club in such a great position Liverpool might regret that down the road and that's the one thing that you can't change regret you have to live and your life and you have to act as a football club uh, to do your absolute best so you don't regret 
because if you regret not making transfers this summer in the future you can't go back and change it Liverpool I really hope that we can maximize the funds coming in with uh, player sales like Marco Gruic, Harry Wilson, Sharna Shakiri. We already sold Dejan Lovren for around 10 million pounds, which was a terrific deal. And if Michael Edwards, the transfer guru at Liverpool, can work his magic and sell more players, then I think Liverpool will be in a fantastic position to strengthen his, his squad. The squad. And honestly, Jamal Lewis and Thiago might be the only two players that Liverpool need to sign for a combined like 40, 45 million. And it's not incomprehensible that Liverpool can sell players to generate that amount. And if we sell four or five players, that also makes up for the wages of Thiago and Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis won't be on crazy wages and Thiago probably doesn't want that like 200k per week and Lalana for example was close to a hundred thousand pounds per week so we already freed up a lot of wages there. Lovren was also close to that wages so we already freed up quite a lot of wages by, by selling uh, I mean not selling Lalana but but um, getting rid of those two players in the squad. So FSG's policy in the transfer market has in part led to Liverpool's current incredible success with Jurgen Klopp of course as the boss. There is no reason why it cannot lead to more success but I just want Liverpool to maximize the next three or four years because football works in cycles. This is now the Man City and Liverpool era of uh, the Premier League and it might change in three or four years Man United or Chelsea or, or maybe other clubs could come in into the Premier League um, I mean the title race they could be serious challengers and Liverpool might fade away so we want to maximize this next three or four years and that's why I really really want Liverpool to sign Thiago and even Ilkay Gundogan said this Pep, Pep Guardiola once uh, wanted to bring Ilkay Gundogan to Bayern Munich to partner Thiago in the midfield of Bayern and this is what uh, he said I have noticed that Thiago has been associated with Liverpool quite often I would say that he also fits well in Liverpool he would fit well in there and Pep Guardiola also said that he has no doubts that Thiago would do very very well in the Premier League for Liverpool so even our rivals Man City think that Thiago would be an awesome transfer for Liverpool so that's I think a very very telling sign the build uh, writer Christian Falk confirmed this and he is a very reliable source when it comes to all things Bundesliga related and these latest comments I think from him are very interesting that even Gundogan thinks that Thiago would fit very well into Liverpool. It confirms that players are well aware of rumours surrounding Liverpool and Thiago, meaning that uh, probably Thiago is talking about it as well. And even in the dressing room, Christian Falk said that Thiago said he wants to join Liverpool. Even in the Bayern dressing room, that is like an open secret. Maybe somebody in the dressing room who heard Thiago talking about the Liverpool to his teammates. Maybe a teammate shared that with the journalist, maybe a staff member of Bayern shared that with the journalist. Uh, the matter of fact is that Thiago wants to sign for Liverpool. I just really hope that Liverpool can somehow make it work because I heard reports that the Liverpool owners, FSG, want um, the club to be self-sustainable in these hard financial times because they want to they want Liverpool to basically generate money and get players sales and transfer funds into the club so they can spend it the owners are not about like putting their own money directly into the club they are businessmen and they want Liverpool to be self sustainable really no problem with that and i fully understand that it's their right to do it this way we are not a man city even if that makes some Liverpool fans sad that we don't we don't have unlimited amounts of money to spend basically but I like it this way I think that it shows that what an incredible manager Jurgen Klopp is and I think Jurgen Klopp is twice the manager of Pep Guardiola because Pep Guardiola wouldn't uh, succeed at Liverpool if he was up against an unlimited transfer budget Manchester City 
then Pep Guardiola wouldn't succeed at Liverpool. Liverpool spent close to zero amounts of money in the past 18 months. We only signed like four, four million pounds uh, players. Pep Guardiola signed close to like 300 million pounds worth of players recently. He just spent 300 million on defenders, Pep Guardiola, since he came to Manchester City. Just think that about, think for, think about that for a moment. 300 million pounds just on defenders, fullbacks and centre-backs. I mean, Man City are signing 40, 50 million pound centre-backs and fullbacks every summer, just like that. It's like pocket change for them. And Liverpool are signing Eddie Robertson from Hull City for 8 million. We sign uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold for free from the youth academy. That's the different levels and uh, that Liverpool have to cope with regarding uh, Manchester City and, and that actually highlights how, what an absolute legend Jurgen Klopp has been because I firmly believe that no other manager could have done what Jurgen Klopp did at Liverpool which is to get to 97 and then one year later to 99 points in a time where Liverpool are up against the probably the the most expensive expensively assembled team ever in English football history and that is Manchester City and I think I honestly think that Jurgen Klopp probably when he leaves Liverpool hope it's not uh, in the next three years, hopefully it's four, five, six years from now. He deserves a statue next to Bill Shankly because he is another iconic manager at Liverpool. And Liverpool fans know this, that we are living in legendary iconic times and we, we should cherish this uh, for the moment because it won't last forever, as sad as it is. But that's the beauty of football, it works in cycles. In three or four years, Liverpool might uh, go down a little bit in terms of uh, we might not challenge for the Premier League title every season so let's just enjoy it while we can and make the most of it and also Ferran Torres who has been officially confirmed now he signed for Manchester City for an absolute bargain of like around 20 million they paid uh, 40 million pounds for Nathan Ake to Bournemouth which I think is a little bit overpriced but Ferran Torres is underpriced he should be 40 50 million pound player and also Ferran Torres said he's very excited and happy to join Man City but what actually happened with Ferran Torres I wanted to talk about because he actually demanded at Valencia the only way he signs a new contract at Valencia he said is that if the owner Peter Lim personally negotiate with, with him and his agent. He also wanted to become the highest paid player at the whole club, being just 21 years old. And also because he didn't really like Dani Parejo, the very experienced player and captain of Valencia Football Club, he wanted to be captain. Ferran Torres demanded that give me the captaincy, give me the highest contract, highest wages, and also let, make the owner sit down with me and negotiate a new contract. How egotistical and how full of yourself you have to be to demand these things from one of the biggest clubs in Spain because after Real Madrid, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid I consider Valencia as, as like just below that the biggest clubs, among the biggest clubs in Spain and that's absolutely, absolutely incredible. He said, I wanted two of the, of the three demands, but none were fulfilled. I know they are not in the same position as big European clubs, uh, Ferran Torres said, but I was able to lead that project and I wanted to be treated as such. Did you really lead Valencia, Ferran Torres, as he is a 20-year-old? Really? Do you, do you really think that you were the leader there? I mean, he made five appearances for the Spain under-21s and he already thinks he's like Cristiano Ronaldo. I just, I just don't like the, the footballers who are like this. And I, I'm not sure if many of you guys have heard about this, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this transfer news video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you later, guys. Goodbye.